Welcome to my presentation. My name is Greta Tresoldi and I am the product manager of LSI Lastem. And this is an introduction to the Greta system, georesistive emitter for time lapse analysis. The device is an innovative georesistive emitter for long term monitoring of earth and dams and the stable slopes. These are the contents of the presentation. First, a brief description of the electrical resistivity method, that is the base methodology used in this device. Then, I will explore the embankment monitoring field, that was the first where this product was applied. After, I will describe the first two installation sites where the Greta system was installed. They are two earthen embankments along an irrigation canal and the river, San Giacomo delle Segnate site and Colorno site. Later, I will explain the design of the product and then I will describe the tailing dial application, speaking about the last instrument installed this year. Afterwards, I will describe the cloud-based platform on, for data visualization and analysis and I will explain how to transform the resistivity section to a water content section with a calibrated function. At the end, I will go through some other fields of application and eventually I will reach the conclusions. Electrical resistivity is a measure of the resistance of a given size of a specific material to electrical conduction. And why we use it to monitor the subsoil? Because the soil electrical resistivity is a function of soil components, presence of voids, resistivity of the circulating fluids, temperature, and especially of the water content. There is an inverse proportionality function between water content and resistivity. So, as the water content increases, the resistivity decreases. The electrical resistivity tomography is a well-known method in geophysics, but so far it has been carried on with portable instruments. The georesistivity meters have cables and electrodes used to inject current and measure the voltage to obtain the apparent resistivity with the reported formula. The C coefficient is a geometrical factor depending on the measurement configuration. In the Greta system, the Venner configuration has been implemented so far. The electrodes are equally spaced and the external electrodes inject the current, while the internal ones measure the voltage. Increasing the spacing between electrodes is possible to obtain the apparent resistivity of deeper parts in the soil. While using different quadruples along the profile, all the section is measured. After having obtained the apparent resistivity, the pseudo section is inverted using an iterative method to obtain the real resistivity of the investigated area. The first application of this system was the living monitoring, so the possibility of using geoelectrical measurements to understand the processes inside the living structure to delineate vulnerabilities and prevent the collapse. During the last six years, LSI Lastem worked with Politecnico di Milano University on two different projects related to reduction of hydrogeological risk connected to LIVs using geoelectrical monitoring. The projects had the first part of study, research and testing in order to understand if the electrical resistivity tomography could be effective in delineating the processes occurring in the living structure. In this slide, the first two test sites are shown. There, the electrical resistivity tomography was used in a time-lapse manner in order to monitor the saturation and the seepages in the LEDs. To do the tests, we used a portable instrument, an iron Siscal Pro. These two sites, Via Marconi and Via Dugale, are in San Giacomo delle Segnate, in northern Italy, and they have different characteristics. The site shown on the left, via Marconi, is in the center of the village, with a high exposure of the surrounding area. While the second site, via Dugale, on the right, was subject to a non-concentrated seepage, so it was used as a test to understand if the methodology was effective to delineate the seepages in the living body. These are six of the time-lapse measurements that we did in the Via Dugale test site. 
As the canal is an irrigational canal, it has different water levels during the year. We did measurements along one year between 2014 and 2015 in order to investigate the subsoil and identify the non-concentrated seepage. From the first measurement, done in September 2014, when the canal is full, we could distinguish a spot of low resistivity in the exact position of the known seepage. In the second measurement, done when the canal was just emptied, the resistivity of the soil was more or less the same because the soil was still saturated, but the seepage was not so evident. In the third measurement, after four months of empty canal, the resistivity increased because the soil was dry. After more or less one year, in July, during the irrigation period, the seepage became evident again and the situation worsened until the partial collapse of the Libby, in the exact position identified by the measurements far in advance. So the test was a proof that the ERT method is really effective to understand the processes in the Libby structure and the project continued with the design of the Greta system. The design criteria are that the device has to be intended for a long-term installation. So it has buried part the cables and the electrodes that are resistant to external agents. It has a remote programmable device and it communicates via a web platform. It can be powered both via solar panel or power grid. In the picture, in the lower right corner, an electrode is shown. For this application, we designed stainless steel plate electrodes to guarantee a good coupling between the soil and the electrodes. In this slide, the main components of the system are explained. The device is inside one box. In this picture, there is the solar panel, but the system can be also attached to the power grid. Inside the box, there are different components. The signal switching unit, the signal driving unit, the main processing unit, and also the power part, with the power unit and the battery. Also, the communication part is inside the box, with the 4G modem or router. In the picture can be seen also the connection to the cables that then will be connected to the electrodes. Here there is a list of the main technical features of the device. While the number of electrodes is fixed, is 48, the distance between electrodes can vary from 1 to 3 meters. According to this distance, the profile length varies from 47 to 141 meters. Also, the maximum measured profile depth varies with the distance between electrodes, reaching the maximum profile depth of 22.5 meters using 3 meters of electrode distance. As I said, the measurement configuration is the Venner and the system can be charged by solar panel or electric grid. Modem or router is available for automatic data transmission to a remote control cloud software of LSI Lastem, where it is also possible to program the system and also to set alarms based on configurable thresholds of resistivity variation. Cables and electrodes can be installed in two different manners, horizontal and vertical inside the core. Here there is the explanation of the horizontal installation that can be made in two different ways. If the installation is intended to be a long-term installation, the plate electrodes are more convenient because the plate electrodes can be buried inside a trench of more or less 40 cm deep that then is covered. If the installation is meant to be a temporary one, the road electrodes are more handy because they are fixed in the ground and the cable is laid down on the soil surface. So, if the user wants to change the position of the profile, it can be easily done. Obviously, this kind of installation can be more risky, because the electrodes and the cable are exposed and animals 
Men and means of transport can damage them. Here are some pictures of the first installation in San Giacomo delle Segnate. A shallow trench was excavated on the little crest and the measuring box was placed in the middle of the profile and the cables were protected with an anti-rodent plastic case. Here there are other pictures of the installation, for example one of the plate electrode that thanks to its wide surface can guarantee lower contact resistance compared to road electrodes. The meteorological station installed is also shown. The system was used to take under control the external variables such as rainfall, temperature and water level in the canal. A TDR probe was installed to have a punctual reference of the soil saturation. After the installation, when the trench is closed, the system has not a strong visual impact and only the box and the solar panel can be seen. Another site where the Greta system was installed in the field of hydrogeological risk reduction was Colorno, a city in the northern part of Italy, near the Po River. This city underwent a severe flood two years ago that damaged the center of the city and provoked the partial collapse of two sections of the Parma River Levis due to concentrated seepage. These two sections were then reconstructed. LSI with Politecnico and with the authority of the Parma River did many geoelectrical measurements in order to understand which was the more vulnerable levy section in the area. At the last, one of the reconstructed sites appeared to be really vulnerable because there was a big difference in the electrical behavior between the old and the new part of the structure. Moreover, this part has a high exposure of the surrounding area because there are many houses nearby. So this part, La Penza site, was selected for the installation of the Greta system. The installation was done in La Penza site and the trench was excavated on the crest of the Libby. In this case, two meters between electrodes was selected, so the profile was 94 meters long and the maximum investigation depth was 15 meters. Also in this case, plate electrodes were used, while there was a difference on the installation of the meteorological station that was mounted on the same pole of the Greta system. Another field of the application of the Greta system that is a really current topic and an interesting one is the application to the tailing stems monitoring because this measurement is a volumetric one and can monitor large parts of the subsoil. The problem with tailing stems is often the accumulation of water in some parts of the dam body, so this system can be really effective in understanding the processes that occur in the structure. This year we sent a greater system in Chile to be installed on a tailing stem of a copper mine in this case, the objective is the monitoring of possible seepages below the dam body. In this installation, the electro distance is 3 meters, with the profile length of 141 meters and the maximum investigation depth of 22.5 meters. During the testing procedure of the device and during every installation done so far, the measurements of the Greta system were compared to other measurements done by portable devices. Here there is one of the comparisons made between the pseudo-section measured by our system and the pseudo-section measured by Iris Siscat Pro. It can be seen that the measurements were almost identical. Every time we did a comparison, the results were really good. It is also possible to transform the inverted resistivity section to a volumetric water content section. To do so, the user has to do a core in the monitoring site and to extract some samples along depth to be analyzed in the laboratory in order to calculate the volumetric water content. Having obtained the volumetric water content of the samples and knowing the resistivity in the exact position of every sample, 
it is possible to calibrate the relationship between water content and resistivity. The function is an inverse proportionality function with two coefficients, a and b. Calibrating these two coefficients, it is possible to transform the resistivity section to a volumetric water content section. In the cloud software, it is possible to insert the two coefficients and to have automatically the calculation of the water content section. This is one of the pages of the cloud platform. Through this website, it is possible to geolocalize the systems and also to have a first diagnostic of the measurements because there are three possible colors that indicate if a technical problem is taking place. Thanks to the platform, it is possible to program the measurements and also to see the results, such as the apparent resistivities and the inverted ones. On the cloud, there is a software that automatically does the inversion of the raw data. It is also possible to control other parameters, such as the quality factors of the measurement, the injected currents, the measured voltages. From the calendar, measurements from different days can be selected and also manually compared through differences. One strong point of the cloud platform is the possibility of setting thresholds based on percentages of variation in resistivity. And when these thresholds are passed, the system sends automatically messages to email addresses that have been previously set. Obviously, the cloud software and all the data can be seen through smartphones or any portable devices. I am reporting a short video that sums up some of the characteristics of the product and some of the applications. Here there is an example of the span of the monitoring system. This is the system in the old configuration because now it has only one box. Here there is the solar panel and these are the internal components. So the measuring part, the power part and the communication part. The system has two cables with in total 48 electrodes to inject current and measure the voltage to obtain the apparent resistivity map that is inverted. When something is changing, the system sends automatically alarm messages. Greta can be integrated with all the meteorological sensors from LSI Lastem. Now a roundup of the field of application. So, earth and dams and levy failure risk protection. But also railways monitoring. Landslide risk protection and pollutants contamination monitoring. We had also an experience in precision farming. Just a brief explanation of other possible applications of the Greta system. For example, the monitoring of landfills and contaminated soils. Since pollutants have normally a different resistivity compared to the resistivity of the hosting soil, it is possible to detect them before they contaminate the groundwater. Another field of application is the monitoring of landslide fronts. Obviously, landslides are complex phenomena, but since a large percentage of them are triggered by the accumulation of water, the Greta system can provide valuable information about the composition of the soil and about the path of water infiltration. In conclusion, Greta is a new georesistivity meter meant for fixed installations produced by LSI Lastem. Today is something new 
is effective and innovative for the geoelectrical monitoring applied to different fields. The applications are various, for example, earth and dams and tailing dams monitoring, libids and earth and embankment monitoring, and soil contamination risk protection. The strong point of this system is that it has a totally autonomous system, easy to install, and it does not require particular maintenance. It allows the continuous geoelectrical monitoring over time of large parts of the subsoil and permits the management of early warnings. Thank you for the attention and if you have some questions, my email address is reported.